today let's talk about the five stroke roll. Uh, the five stroke roll is one of the basic percussion rudiments. Um, if you're not familiar with the basic rudiments yet, uh, that's okay for this lesson, but uh, you should take some time and go check them out. Uh, basically anything you want to play on drums is built on the basic percussion rudiments. Uh, the Percussive Arts Society has them on their website. Uh, Vic Firth has some interesting things with the basic rudiments on their website, so you should go check those things out, download the rudiments, uh, practice with those. But Today, let's talk about the five-stroke roll, and uh, anything you need to know about it, I'm going to try to tell you for the purposes of this video. Let's do a quick review on counting. Uh, in your basic rock beat or uh, rock music, there's, uh, it's in a time signature that's called 4-4. Four, four. four over four on, on the top, four means that there's four beats to the measure. Four on the bottom means that the quarter note gets one beat. Is that confusing? No big deal. Just like there's four quarters in a dollar, there's four beats to a measure. So we can count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, so those are quarter notes. Now, if we want to play sixteenth notes, that's four notes per beat. So to count quarter notes, we count one, two, three, four. To count sixteenth notes, we're going to count four times as fast, and we'll say one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So it's still the same tempo, one, two, three, four, but we're breaking it into sixteenths. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Now one more preliminary thing before we get to the actual five stroke roll. When you're playing sixteenth notes, it's beneficial if you continue to play right, left, right, left, right, left even if you're not playing the note that would be played with one of those hands. What does that mean? If I'm playing one E and a, uh, that's right, left, right, left. If I want to play one E, a, uh, I should play one E, a, uh, right, left, left, because the and would have been my right hand. So basically your rule is the ones and the ands are your right hand, the E's and the U's are your left hand. That's all there is to it. So now what's a five stroke roll? Five stroke roll is exactly what it sounds like. Five strokes. One, E, and, a, uh, two. Right, left, right, left, right. One, E, and, a, uh, two. Sounds like this. If we uh, play it a few times and speed it up as we go. So there I was playing one E and a two, three E and a four, one E and a two, over and over. Now uh, what we can do with a five stroke roll to work this into a uh, rock beat as a basic rock fill is to compress this into one measure. So what we're now going to do is we're going to play one E and a two and a three E and four E and a one. So that's three five stroke rolls, one E and a two, and a three E and four E and a one. So that sounds like this. So that crash was on the one, that's the fifth stroke of the third five stroke roll. Uh, you could do it anywhere you want on the drum kit, but uh, here's what happens when you throw it into a rock beat as a fill. So far so good. So all we're doing is one E and a two and a three E and four E and a one. Now remember, your right hand plays the ones and the ands. So all three of those five stroke rolls are gonna start with your right hand. Now, uh, to get creative with this, you can start to move it around the kit a little bit. You could do uh, a five stroke 
backstroke roll on each tom. So all that was was a five stroke roll, one on the snare, one on the rack tom, and one on the floor tom, and right back to the beat. Now again, the uh, crash that you hear is the fifth uh, stroke of the third five stroke roll. So don't forget that's four E and a one. Uh, let me just show you a couple things with it and uh, you can run with it and try to learn these five stroke rolls and throw them in wherever you want. So there you go, there's your basic five stroke roll. Uh, move it around the kit, practice it on the snare, uh, get creative and have a good time with it.